we're joined now in the studio by Hauke Hakering. He's a decision neuroscientist at the Free University in Berlin. Welcome to the show. Let's get right to it. The brain and consciousness, these are two different things. How does that work? Yeah, as neuroscientists, we wouldn't say they're two different things. So we would say that the brain is the organ that produces consciousness. Okay, so is there such a thing as free will then? Mm. If, if uh, free will is something that you, know, you think comes on top of the things that happen in the brain or the body, then we have to say no, it doesn't exist. So it's, it's merely an illusion. If there is no free will, to what extent can human beings be manipulated? Mm. As we've seen uh, in, in the clip before, uh, many of our decisions are actually formed unconsciously. So um, it's, it's pretty easy to imagine that also a lot of the components that influence our decisions can actually be manipulated. Uh, let's say through emotions. Uh, if, I, you know, if I use certain uh, music or certain words, for instance, uh, I can actually manipulate your decisions. That sounds a bit like neuromarketing. Why don't you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah. So uh, in marketing research, we know that you know it's 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 usually a, a problem to say how efficient is uh, a clip going to be, for instance, or a certain kind of advertisement. And uh, the hope is so now um, marketing people have turned to neuroscientists with the hope that we can actually help them uh, inform the decisions they make. Uh, so for instance, you can try out different versions of a clip to see how the how different parts of the brain respond. So let's say. Uh, the emotional brain, uh, if it responds more to one version of the clip than the other, uh, you may actually choose that one. Uh, and that may actually help you in, in choosing the um, ads. Now, is everyone equally vulnerable to this sort of advertising? Uh, no, certainly not. So we know that people are different uh, with regards to you know, how much they can be influenced by these things. Uh, so probably a related concept is uh, willpower. Yeah? So basically how well can you override these emotional impulses. Uh, and we already know that you know, kids are different in that regard. So some kids are better in that than others. Uh, and of course as we learn, uh, you know, as we make experiences, that can change. Um, so but, you know, the good news is we can actually train it. So basically you can uh, you know, have a certain training program and, and practice your free will and you can improve. So even if you start at a lower level, let's say due to your um, genes, uh, you can actually override that by learning and training. Well, speaking of those genes, what role does the environment play in how susceptible you are to something like neuromarketing? Yeah, uh, it's, we, we know that for you know, many things that are relevant for our behavior, uh, it's different sources that influence it. So genes is one. Uh, the other is, of course, our experience, so the things that we learn over the lifespan. Um, social influences, right, so experience uh, with peers, parents, uh, and so forth, and of course the environment. So very recent research actually shows that it even matters whether you grow up in an urban setting or a rural setting, and that that can influence your brain, and thereby, again, also affect how you make decisions. Which is better, rural or urban setting? No, that, you can't really say that. So we, we know that it has a different influence uh, on the way uh, you do certain things. But then, as you see, right, so we have the influence of, we, we, just, we, we forgot culture, basically. So culture would be another important factor. Uh, and then if we really want to understand things, we have to understand the interplay of all these different components, right? So genes, uh, you know, environment, um, culture, let's say. Uh, so it's, it's tremendously difficult and complex. A fascinating subject. Hauke yes. Hakering from the Free University in Berlin. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure.